Now, it lay undisturbed for 124 years. A bundle of documents and writings by two teenage boys in Victoria, Liverpool. The pair buried their collection in a time capsule at their home in 1881, hoping it would paint a picture of their lives in Gattaca for future generations. Over a century later, it's been found by developers, still intact and in pristine condition. Abby Jones reports. Perfectly preserved for over a century, the thoughts, drawings and documents describing the daily lives of two teenage boys in 19th century Liverpool. The station master is a very nice man. His name is Mr Turton. There are no dockers in Gattaca, but in Wilson there are three. Calling cards and timetables, telegrams and newspaper articles. 15-year-old George Hunter Finlay Robertson and his younger brother James included over a dozen items in their Victorian time capsule. It just painted a picture of that era for us, which must have been a very exciting time for those two boys. The railway had only been built a year or so before. It told us about their family, life in Gattaca village, the names of the clergymen and the local shopkeepers. George and James were sons of a wealthy businessman and lived in a house which became the Gattaca Hall Hotel. This doorway is now all that remains of the site where the boys once lived. It's all been turned into apartment blocks. The capsule was found behind here as the developers were dismantling the stones one by one. It dropped out and fell into the rubble. The capsule was given to the Gattaca Society, which intends to exhibit the boys' collection for future generations. They must have wondered who would unearth this capsule in how many years and what would they think of it. We are very proud to be the custodian of this collection. Abby Jones, Northwest Tonight, Gattaca. What a fascinating story.